Hello, my name is Ann Knowles and I want to welcome you to Strictly Salina. This is a program of SMC TV, formerly known as Community Access Television, where we endeavor to help our community know about the wonderful organizations in the community, nonprofits, and some businesses, so that we as citizens know what we can, where we can go for assistance, where we can go to for fun, for education, for pastime activities for ourselves and for our families. Today, we are honored to have OCCK in our midst. Now, only two staff people are with us today. The staff is larger than that. But OCCK has been in Salina ever since I moved here over 25 years ago. It is an organization that Salina really cannot do without because it offers assistance, it offers education, it offers pathways to mental, emotional, physical health, and job finding skills. And today we're going to talk with the health component of that and the transportation component of that. So there are several of us who are going to talk with you about OCCK, and I'm going to start by introducing you all to um, Stephanie Gehring. Is that correct, that Stephanie? Is correct, yes. And Stephanie is in charge of In My House, which is a wonderful program, I mean, just the title, mm -hmm. and it is home health care. Is, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Do you mind telling us if you can, and just, and, and then I, I know that, that Michelle will add to that, mm -hmm. but if you can just tell us a little bit about what OCCK does, okay. and then how important, the important piece that your segment of the program fulfills. Absolutely. Um, I would, I would kind of wrap up OCCK as just providing services to individuals as well as the community um, just to keep people independent as, as, as independent as possible. So. And we have all ages in Salina. We have an older population. We have a one person family mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. population and we have younger families with children, mm -hmm. and we have adults who need assistance physically and in finding jobs and in getting to and from. Absolutely. Every time I go to a larger city, I realize how fortunate we are that in Salina, at least once we can identify where we can get help, it doesn't take quite so long to go through that list. Absolutely. And there is a, an ability of a lot of agencies to work together mm -hmm. to make sure that that assistance is offered. Mm -hmm. So tell us about In My Home. Okay, In My Home is, we are a home health and a home care um, uh, provider. Our home health uh, services are provided by many professionals. Um, we have several different disciplines, one being um, nursing, we also have physical therapy, occupational therapy, uh, speech therapy, medical social worker, wow. home health, I mean, See, you, I you did not know, I yeah. did not know that yes, about OCCK. Right, yeah. This is yeah. new um, for me. Pretty, pretty cool thing. Uh, we just became accredited actually in 2016, so that's probably, it's, it's quite new. It is new. Um, um, that accreditation just kind of raises our standards a little bit. There's many um, Medicare certified home health agencies around, but that um, ACHC accreditation uh, sure raises our standards above and beyond what a Medicare certified home health agency would. So, provide. with what other health agencies would you coordinate, or wh what other segments of the community would you coordinate in? To, ha to offer this to individuals? Well, we, you know, I mean, honestly, it, we can serve anybody from, from babies coming out of the hospital right. with maybe um, some a cleft palate or um, whatever disability that person may have, maybe even just needing some IVs, um, or to somebody our age who has a knee um, replacement and maybe just and maybe has an infection or right. needs some wound care or something like that, to the elderly who maybe. Um, are having an acute CHF or right. congestive heart failure. Right. So, um, and we can provide, so we could provide that to a large spectrum. Are these referrals? Do you operate yes. on referrals only? Um, no. No. It, it is not referral based only. Um, we do get a lot of referrals from uh, discharge planners at the hospitals or um, physicians' offices, but we also have many. Um, 
families or children of, especially of the elderly, who call us and say, you know, I think mom's not ready to go into the nursing home. What services can you provide for us to keep her in the home? As long, and we'll do that as long as it's safely possible. And so what kind of services can you offer mom to keep okay. her in her home? So, uh, of course, just as I said earlier, we can provide the professional services. Uh -huh. um, but we can also provide um, cooking, cleaning, housekeeping. Wow. I mean, any homemaking skills, companionship. If you have maybe somebody who has um, maybe the early onset of dementia, um, we can provide services for that just to keep them safe maybe while the kids are at work or... Um, How can one afford to have you do that for them? Well, I'll tell you, uh, all of as long as um, you are considered, and this is a, more of a Medicare, right. looking at it from a Medicare standard, is as long as they are homebound and they have a primary care physician, as well as a skilled need, the skilled services All are right. paid for. Okay. And I okay. say homebound, that does not mean they have to be in their home 24 hours a day, seven right. days a week. That means that it has to require a, a taxing effort for them to get out and about. Right. Um, as far as the homemaking um, services go, those are typically uh, paid for by Medicaid, okay. um, not paid for by Medicare. Um, but they also, we also offer one of the best prices in town for private pay services. Isn't so. that wonderful to know? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. So if you received a phone call that was not a referral, mm -hmm. how would you evaluate the candidacy of that person to be worked with uh -huh. at OCCK? Um, typically, uh, what we would do, we'd start with the insurance okay. uh, to see Absolutely. what kind of insurance. Right. And that kind of defines from there right. what kind of services are, are paid for by the, their insurance, right. you know, we always check with that because we want to give people the most for their money. You Absolutely. Know? And uh, so we kind of build from there. We'll provide whatever we need to, and if they're willing to go whatever route they need to, then then we're we're there. Um, but we definitely want to look at the insurance and make sure that that what we provide is going to be paid for. for just them. just so. the oversight that you have to cover is tremendous. Mm -hmm. I would love to talk to you more, but I want to talk about transportation mm -hmm. needs too. Sure. And um, Michelle and I met each other briefly um, when Arts and Humanities was doing that community grant. Right. And I was fascinated with what you did as I watched you from across the table. So tell me what piece of this part of OCCK is fulfilled. Tell me what that means. You're in charge of transportation. Yes. So transportation has been in place since OCCK was founded uh, in 1970. That's what I thought. That's yes. what I thought. So transportation has always been a part of the services provided. Uh, when they started out providing transportation, it was just for clients of okay. OCCK. So it was just getting them to and from services. All right. But along the way, it's branched out to be general public transportation. So we provide services for anyone with any kind of transportation need. How would I know that? if I want transportation? How do I know to call you? Well, hopefully you will have heard about us. <laughs> right. We do, like Stephanie, we do a lot of community education. Right. Uh, we have a lot of partnerships with a lot of agencies across the And community. so you would be getting referrals as well? Yes. As well as general public Correct. Knowledge, basic knowledge just to knowing enough right. to call. Right. Okay. Um, so we provide five different transportation services. Oh, good. Tell us uh, about those. the counties that we serve. Um, so our first one and most visible, of course, is CityGo. It's uh, the fixed route bus service that goes around Salina and the big green buses. Right. Um, we've just celebrated 10 years of CityGo this I year. Know, that is so exciting. It is, too. Super it exciting. is exciting. Yes, it really is. So we've served over 2 million passengers in the 10 years. That is marvelous. It is. It's super great. Um, and we're excited about that. We're always looking at mm -hmm. ways that we can provide better uh, service and expansion. So. And do you, there's a relationship with the city on this, is there Correct. not? Correct. Yes. Okay. The city of Salina is a great partner um, in providing funding for okay. CityGo, as well as the Kansas Department of Transportation. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't yes. know that either. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So without their support, we would not be able to do that Absolutely. At all. Absolutely. So. So that's one of that's five. One. Uh, yep. <laughs> so our second one is regional paratransit service. So that's door to door. So that's our white vehicles. We have both vans and buses and we'll come to your house and pick you up and take you to wherever or you, you need, need to, to go. go. Yes. And how many counties? Uh, 14. Oh my heaven forbid. Yes. yes, we're driving all over the place. Oh, you are. Yes, we drive millions of miles. 
So. Oh, that's a wonderful service. It really is. Think of the people who would absolutely be in a cocoon if they couldn't Correct. do that. Right. All right, go on. Okay, so then our third one is a partnership with Salina Regional Health Center. Okay. Uh, so we provide our Medivan service. Um, so we provide transportation to and from Salina Regional, Regional and any of their affiliates. And that's provided at no charge. To so if I have a doctor's appointment mm -hmm. and I'm in an affiliate Correct. So office with the hospital, right. I can call you. And we will take you there for free, for no charge. So that's I think another I, great. I think, I think a lot of people don't know that. I don't think they do either. So we're working on getting information out so people understand what services are available. I'm not sure all the churches in town are aware of that kind of thing. Yes, maybe not. That's a wonderful, wonderful service. Go on. Yes. I don't want to interrupt. Okay. I am, but I don't want to. That's okay. Uh, so the fourth thing that we provide is non-emergency medical transportation, and that is for people that have Medicaid. Okay. So if they need to get um, to a medical appointment, Medicaid will pay for transportation services. And so we're one of the few providers in this area that do that also. And that would be for... Again, doctor's appointment. Right. That's Any kind of medical appointment. Any kind of medical appointment. That is paid for through, by, Medicaid. through Medicaid. Correct. Okay. And so that is a referral from Medicaid. So they actually have to call their provider and then we go on and okay. accept okay. a ride. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's the fourth one. And then the fifth one is pretty new. We just started last year, 81 Connection, which is our fixed route bus service that runs from Belleville to Salina. Why Belleville? Well, the state of Kansas is divided into 10 different districts okay. for transit. Okay. And so we're in district number seven. So we have the eight counties of Saline and Ellsworth North. Okay. And so it was kind of a natural fit for us to stay within our district to start this first route. If we just want to get in touch with OCCK. Mm -hmm. One of you give us the website and the phone number. Sure, OCCK's general website is OCCK.com. Um, and then we have a website for transportation that is SalinaCityGo.com. All right. And then phone numbers, our phone number for transportation is 826-1583. And the phone number for In My Home is 785-823-2025. Uh, and actually, that will get a nurse 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So um, that is just it amazing. is not just the 8 to 4 office time. So, that is just yeah, amazing. Yeah, please give us a call. Yeah. I can't thank you both enough. You have been a wonderful educator for me. And I don't think that I am that unusual. I think you have helped to educate the community at large as well. Because I think there is sort of a set image of OCCK working with disabled individuals. Mm -hmm. And pretty much that is the basic understanding sure. of a lot of people. Sure. It is so wonderful to know that this service is available in Salina, Kansas, serving all of these counties mm -hmm. also in, in various ways. Right. Mm -hmm. And what a wonderful thing it says about collaboration of other agencies working with you mm -hmm. to make sure that services are offered to all of us who live here. That's right. It makes us a healthy, a safer, and a much more happy place to live. Yes. Will you come back and visit us some more when we can talk more in depth? We would Absolutely. be happy to. Oh, I thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank yes. you.